everyone, my name is Skylar Monroe, and for my pop-up report number four, I will be discussing the plotline in Eugene O'Neill's A Long Day's Journey into Night. This play is located on pages 857 to 934. It takes place in the seaside home of the Tyrone family in the course of one long day. At first glance, the Tyrone family looks normal, but we learn about how dysfunctional this family actually is as the play goes on. Each character struggles with some type of problem, which makes it hard for the family to maintain healthy relationships. Edmund Tyrone, the youngest son who struggles with um, tuberculosis, um, we see him becoming addicted to alcohol as the play goes on. Jamie Tyrone, the eldest son, struggles with addiction of alcohol, sex, and gambling. Mary Tyrone is addicted to morphine, and James Tyrone is addicted to alcohol. He's also a cheapskate, um, and he's also an actor, and those two can cause a lot of problems um, between Mary and him. Um, as the characters seem to get escape from reality, their family becomes more distant. The family often lacks communication, whether it's lying to each other, arguing, or not talking at all. One example is when Mary lies about being an addict. She comes up with many excuses for not sleeping at night, such as worrying about Edmund's sickness or the foghorn keeping her up. Um, however, the men of the family are all suspicious about it. And when Jamie brings it up to his father that she had been up all night, Mr. Tyrone said that she said it was just the foghorn. Um, and you can find an example of this on page 870 at the top. And it says, Around three o'clock this morning, I woke up and heard her moving around in the spare room. Then she went to the bathroom. I pretended to be asleep. She stopped in the hall to listen, as if she wanted to make sure I was. Um, we also see how unhappy the Tyrone's marriage is when Mary talks to Kathleen, the servant, and how much she hated being on tour with Mr. Tyrone, and you can find this on the page, um, 897, at the bottom, and Mary quotes, I've never felt at home in theater. Even though Mr. Tyrone has made me go with him on all of his tours, I've had little to do with the people in his company, or with anyone on stage. Not that I have anything against them. They have always been kind to me, and I to them. But I've never felt at home with them. Their life is not my life. It has always stood between me and... She pauses. Um... This shows how unhappy Mary has been for the last 36 years of their marriage. And through blame, unhappiness, and emotional stress, we see how dysfunctional the Tyrone family is. Thank you.